A simple way in 12D to edit a vertex on a string is by using the Super Vertex Properties panel. To get this panel, I simply step over to the CAD control bar on the left and come down to String Edits. Left click and hold the mouse button down and step out four to the right until you get to Vertex Properties. Release the left button on this icon. This will then bring up the Super Vertex Properties panel. Again, just like the Super Segment Properties panel, down in the left bottom corner, it will say no string selected. So what we need to do is come up to the top left of the panel and left click on the pick icon. Then proceed to the right and select the vertex you want to edit. Remember, this is vertex only, so if I select anywhere on the string, nothing happens. I need to go down to where my vertice is. As you can see, I've selected a vertice by the diamond shape icon. Once you select the left mouse button on the vertice, remember you need to accept. This then brings up the Super Vertex Properties panel with the vertex index of one. From here, I can now change the height of the string. So my height mode is set to each vertex. I can also give it no Z value. If I want to give it a height, I simply just type in the height I wish to give it. So I might give this vertice a Z value of 170. And then I select apply. As you can see now, down the bottom left, it says Vertex Attributes Set. You can also annotate text. You can add text. Another good one is Point ID. If I wish to add a Point ID to that vertex, I simply go down to where it says Point Mode. And on the pull down box, change it from No ID to Each Vertex. Then underneath where it says point ID, I can simply just type in the point ID I wish to give it. Here, I'll give it a point ID of 101. Once I've finished typing in, remember you need to go down and select apply. You can also make vertices tinnable or non-tinnable. Visible or not visible. You can add symbols to vertices. And you can also add user attributes. Once I have finished editing the vertex, I simply go down to the finish icon at the bottom right of the panel. This will then remove that panel. And if I now check by using string inquire or F2, you can now see I have a Z value of 170 and a vertex ID of 101.